What is it in? Very good, sir. You're going to close beta. Tell me, do whip hooks really exist? Oh, please, Mr. Dan. You can call me Yasmin. And yes, I like to live dangerously. <laughs> and to be fair, when you have the right set of cards in your hand and know how to play the game, nothing can go wrong. This is why our team of highly skilled professionals is going to put whip hooks into production. It's going to be in a closed beta for contacts. So if you want early access, let us know by sending us an email to api at zero.com to register your interest. I showed my cards. Now show me yours. Wow, that's quite the hand you've played, Miss F1. But we've got a few more tricks up our sleeve. We've been busy adding new filtering options to the invoices and contacts endpoint, which will come in very handy for your webhooks. Also, we're making payments and credit notes easy to get by adding the Isreconcile flag to get payments and paging to credit notes. And finally, under threat from Dr. Node himself, we're working on full JSON support for the accounting API, so you'll no longer have to use that scary XML. Seems I've misjudged you both. Tell me, what is the doctor up to? I hear he's working on something hot. Well, don't take it from me. Let's cross to the doctor himself, Geordie Walsh. Hey guys, Dr. Node here, AKA Jordan, one of the Melbourne-based developer evangelists. While the rest of the API team have been talking about delivering webhooks, Mr. Wigglesworth and I have delivered something you can actually use today. We're excited to announce the launch of a new developer SDK library that's available in alpha and available for our developer community to use right now. It's available on GitHub and NPM and it's called Zero Node. As my name, Dr. Node, suggests, I'm a huge Node.js supporter. I've been using it for years to deliver all sorts of apps, APIs, websites, and data mashups, and I'm stoked to be able to deliver some of that to the Zero developer community. So we'll run through how to set up a private app. Uh, and we're gonna do this using Yarn. So Yarn in it is uh, gonna get us started with a uh, Node application. Um, We'll create our first file, index.js, and while we're editing that, we will uh, install zero node. So in here, what we're going to do is um, require our dependencies. So the first is zero node. We're also going to need the file system dependency uh, for accessing our private key file and our config file. Now, if you need to know more about the config file, you can check the docs on GitHub. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is actually uh, install our private key in our config. And we do that by reading the file system uh, at the config.privatekey path location. And that is going to um, set up our private key correctly by reading that private key file. And the next thing we want to do is create a client. And we've got three different clients that we can choose from. Um, partner, public, and private application. So this time we're going to use a private application and we're just simply going to pass our config into that which is going to set up this client. So now we can use um, our client to query data from the API. Uh, what we're going to do first is access the organizations endpoint. and we're going to get the organization details. Um, this uses a promise-based architecture, so, so we can see here that we can return the organization, and then we can just do something simple like print out the organization name, like that. So we can run this by just going node dot, and it 
reference out the organization name. So if we want to do something next, uh, like printing out maybe a list of invoices that are authorized, we can go then Um, let's do the filter first. So let filter equals um, status equal to authorized. And we can go client dot core dot invoices get invoices, and we'll do a where filter. So this will give us a list of invoices back. So now we want to iterate through these invoices. And we want to print out maybe the amount due and the invoice um, number. And maybe the amount due. So now it's going to print out the name and then the invoice number and the amount due for each invoice. And that's it. So what should you do next? Well, as we said, the SDK is now available in alpha. So we need you to get involved. We need you to use it, find bugs, raise them as GitHub issues, or if you know how to fix them, fork the code and submit a PR. We want to get this into beta as soon as possible, so we need your support to do it. If you need help, tweet Zero API or Jord Walsh for more info. Lastly, to the 20 odd developers who have already gotten involved, fixed issues, submitted pull requests, you guys know who you are, you're awesome, and thank you for your help. Dr. Node, out. Back to you, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Node. Awesome work on that Node SDK. And props to Sid and the gang for them leveling up our developer content in the last few months. Good stuff, boys. Alrighty. So, you'll be seeing more of the Evangelist gang and myself in the next few months. We recently made an announcement about XD17, that's our Zero Developer Roadshow. We'll be coming to you in Auckland, Wellington, Melbourne, San Francisco, London, and maybe a surprise location as well. We're going to be talking about the API updates, we'll do some cool demos, we'll also give you some uh, key tips and tricks on getting started and some best practices. Also, AWS will be coming with us and they'll be talking about their developer platform. You might even get a few credits out of it if you turn up. All right, but probably uh, you know, the best thing for you guys would be the ability to get my autograph or uh, get a selfie with me if that's, uh, if that's your thing, so uh, come along. Um, all right, so that's it for uh, first episode of season two, guys. Remember, go on our YouTube channel, subscribe, leave us some comments. We'd love to hear from you and what you want to see on the show in future, and we'd love to get you involved as well. So I don't have to tell you guys, say hi to your motherboard for me. <laughs>